Welcome to Real Bass Lessons. Today I want to teach you the song called Mr. PC. I taught on here once before, but it was more of a straight ahead jazz thing. Today it's got a little different flavor to it. I think you might like it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to play it. You're going to see me play a bass line. Then I'm going to add chord changes and a little solo over the top. And then uh, I'll stop afterwards that and I'll discuss it when I'll analyze some of the things I did, okay? So here we go. Here's our basic groove. A one, two, three, four. Now that was fun. <laughs> I hope you liked it. Now here's the bass line. Watch this. Root fifth up to that tenth minor third. So 
slow motion. Three and four and. Yeah, I actually stole that out of the out of my R and B book here. I put two together. This here little, I did it. And then. Hear those mutes? I did the same thing for the four chord. And back to the one chord, same thing. And then for the uh, B flat seven, I went just a B flat seven arpeggio. I went one root fifth up to the octave third, which is the tenth. And then A7, same thing. I did, but still it's that same shape. And then back to here. Cool. And I did the same thing during the melody and during the solo. Cool. Now let's move to the chords. The gist of a chords comping uh, that sound good on the bass, I think, are mainly those thirds and sevenths. You know, some guys use a lot of other strings and use a lot of tensions. I actually have basses with many more strings, but I like that third and seven sound a lot. There's a, a, a texture. It works well. Sometimes on bass, things can be muddy. So here's that D minor, and here's your third, and here's your seventh. Well, I actually started it out with this. Major seven. Minor major seven chord. I did this kind of a thing. Down to the six. Major seven, natural seven, down to the six. Here's the root. But it sounds good when the root's lower. Uh, here we go. So I did that kind of. So, and then when the melody started, I went to just straight third and seven. Five, uh, four chord, there's the third and seven again. It actually it becomes a seventh and the third. And then back, I probably did that a little bit, that major seven. And then for this B flat seven, sure, I just went seventh and third, A seven, back up, seventh, excuse me, third and seventh, no, the other way around, seventh and third, sure. And then back to this. Now, when I soloed, I went instead of playing third and seventh, I did some little fourth things. Sure. But it, this ends up being the seventh and the third. They're just reversed. Look, if we do um, third and seven, we got a fifth. If we do seven and third, we got fourth. So I did this. I did this. People. Sure, that kind of thing. And for the G, I just went to it. Back to the D. And then I again went to this. Third and seventh. Third and seventh. Now for the solo, I did a number of things, but they're the things that you, if you've watched any of my other solo videos, I do the same ones all the time. <laughs> this happens to be in a minor key, so I, uh, oh, I, I started with like a little augmented thing. Hey, augmented. And then I went, sure, got into that. So I did this, uh, that was the melody. In fact, I recommend you go back to the old version I did of this and I taught it very specifically in time. So then I got into my solo and I started in an interesting spot. I often don't start with so much tension, but here's my chord. I started on this. Sure. Just a little phrase I learned somewhere along the way. Exactly. Uh, then I did a bunch of other stuff, which was just random sort of stuff. And then I did, oh, I got back to my D minor and I did this. Uh, um, oh, here we go. Sorry. Let's go to the B flat seven. Just B flat seven, A seven. And I did that augment again. And 
at one place in there, when I got to the G, I went G minor. There's those triads. Those arpeggios, excuse me, not triads, they're sevenths, they're arpeggios. Sure. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that sort of stuck out. Oh, down here once I went. That was the B flat seven. Oh, and then I did this one for the A7. Guess what? I started on the third and I went diminished. Sure, you heard me talk about in the other lessons. A7, start on the third and play diminished. Well, I just went. Um, Hope that helped you. What I recommend you do is look at these and try to finger these little, every, every little, these, these little details I said, these little sections, and then go back and watch the solo over and over and over, and you'll see where it happens. And the ones that you like, those are the ones you work on and memorize them and learn to play them, just exactly the way I did. The ones you don't like, well, leave those out. That's what's cool about music. Fire it up. Hope this helped you.